Today, there is a study which shows American hospital owners want surgeons to do more mistake because more mistake means patient comes back again. You do more surgery, collect more money. So that is how. When a person gets a heart attack and doesn't die, 60% die instantaneously. If he doesn't die and doesn't have much pain and doesn't see a doctor, he will be normal within one week. Because what is heart attack? In one area, the cells die. Okay, that's called cell death. First stage of heart attack is cell death. When the cells die, the neighboring cells say, Oh my God, my friend has died. What do I do? They slip and go to that place and fill the place. This is called stage 2 cell slipping. Understand? When the cell slips, the cell is held by a cement, which we call as collagen in Latin. You confuse the students, collagen. It is just a cement which holds the cell. It is called the fibroblast. The mother of the holding cell. So the fibroblast says, where is my son gone? And this mother knows for sure that her son would not have gone anywhere except to help somebody. See how sure the body cells are? If your son has gone out, you are not sure where he has gone. But the fibroblast, the mother of the fiber, knows my fiber son has gone to help somebody. So what does it do? Fibroblastic proliferation. It produces more fiber and then enough fiber to fill the gap. Now the cells in the periphery, they can't slip out and come. They say, what do we do? So they hypertrophy, they become stronger. So four things happen. Cell death, cell slipping, fibroblastic proliferation and hypertrophy. By the end of that, is a win weeks time, the heart becomes so strong again and the scar is stronger than the heart's original muscle. We used to dissect hearts of dead people. My boss was a Nobel laureate and he used to get these hearts. I used to see this, seven, eight scars of heart attacks. People dying at the age of 104, 110, 120, Polynesian Islanders. Lucky they didn't see a doctor. The minute they come to see me, a heart attack patient will have fast pulse because he's worried. He says, heart attack means death. So what do I do? I want, want to slow his pulse, so I give him a beta blocker. It doesn't come down, I'll give him an ACE inhibitor. That will come out, I'll give an ARB. What does this do? It knocks off our friend, the autonomic nervous system. Which is our friend in emergency. Autonomic nervous system came in evolution when God in his wisdom thought we were hunter-gatherers in the forest. If a tiger comes to attack you, it doesn't eat the whole of you in one day because it's, it's no hunger. So it might eat your hand and go away. God didn't want you to die. So he gave an autonomic nervous system where immediately bleeding stops, there's clotting occurs, uh, blood redistribution occurs, your brain gets blood supply, you are not unconscious, you walk away from danger and next day you may survive but the tiger will come to see an empty place there. Now this is knocked off by modern medical drugs. So if the patient survives in spite of doctors, he is a lucky man. But he doesn't get a strong scar, he will get an aneurysm afterwards, he will get a ventricular septal defect, it has to be operated. So it's all a good business for us. Today, there is a study which shows American hospital owners want surgeons to do more mistake because more mistake means patient comes back again. You do more surgery, collect more money. So that is how.